They look like a funky bunch, a bright bunch of young people, and yeah, it's all exciting to be on the set of a reality show. Hello! Hi, Max and you! Sit down. So you know we've got the interns right here. Yeah. So I thought one of the things we could ask them to do is can I get them to interview you for five minutes each? And it's going to be, it'll be for a story like five minutes with Karin Zoid. And then afterwards you can give me feedback and just tell me how they were and whether they knew what they were talking about. That kind of stuff. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, there are a couple of questions that really irritate every musician or public person. Questions like, uh, what inspires you? Do you feel that it's very important that your songs are drawn from personal experience and inspiration? Um, I don't write about anything really. Um, so everything in everyday life inspires you to write new songs? Yeah, I mean, uh, I do write uh, material for other artists and uh, like I mean I, I wrote the theme song for the show. Yes, yes. Um, I love so, it, by the way. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I enjoy that as well. I enjoy writing from within myself and about things that matter to me but I, I quite enjoy uh, the challenge of uh, having to work within a framework. You know. Why do you think you became so famous? I think for me it was, uh, I, I've always wanted to be a musician. I've always wanted to sing in a band, write songs, tour. It was my childhood dream. I don't see it as I've accomplished everything that I want, but I mean, the life of a musician is something I've always wanted. It's the best thing about being a musician? Expression, the freedom of expression. And the worst thing about being a musician? Um, drummers. <laughs> drummers. Dr drummers. Do you feel that, depending on what's happening in, obviously, South Africa, whether it's um, with the recession, did you okay. feel a need to, to write something uplifting at all? Did you, did you write anything during this time or did it, yeah, it's did funny it affect you say your that. career? It's, it's funny you say that. I've actually noticed that quite a few uh, musicians and actors and a lot of the stuff that came out in 2009 is very comedic. And it's kind of like, in the arts, you know, it's kind of what had to happen. Yeah. So people were feeling pretty depressed and, and it's, it's changed. Time. I mean, every single industry has been affected by the recession. So um, it's kind of brought people together and I think it's made everyone grateful all over again. And yeah. Tell me a bit about your personal style, your favorite places to shop. Um, I'm not a big shopper. Mm -hmm. I blow all my money on guitars <laughs> and holidays. I'm not big into shopping for clothes and stuff like that. Favorite um, holiday destination? Oh, so many. It depends. Anywhere. I love traveling. So my questions were just best, best and worst moments. It's the kind of interview that someone would yeah. usually email to me that you wouldn't need to do in person. She's a lovely lady. Um, I did feel slightly um, nervous because I hadn't done the research and written down questions that I would have really liked to ask but it was a nice conversation to have with her. Rosemary, she was very unprepared and she didn't take any notes, she didn't have a pen or a paper with her so when you do an interview and someone doesn't have a recorder or a, well, they're not make, taking notes I mean you're not really sure how they're going to quote you so I always feel uncomfortable um, when a journalist does that. I really enjoyed the interview and I think I'd really like to do something like, like that as a job. To be a journalist, to be interested in people, to find the things that are not said in the media, to get insight into the person, not the, the perception that everyone has about Karen Zoid as a rocker woman. I find that fascinating. I think our readers would too. So I think we had a bit of a connection. I made her laugh. Dylan and Sunshine, they were nice. They look excited, um, they're vibrant. They were friendly, they were prepared, they took notes, and it felt like I was having a conversation. 